actually move the camera except the boat's moving because I kind of get the harbor anyways. You know what I'm
Sunday in this court. Massachusetts. This is the battleship USS Massachusetts, and there is Gunner's mate Sanjay Stone and Raji Stone. They're shooting these five 40 millimeter anti-aircraft weapons. Grandma Stone. <laughs> Can you see Sandy in there? Not exactly, you could. Don't shoot me guys! Don't shoot me!
That's the destroyer, I can't remember the name. This is the lionfish submarine, SNJ, and this is a Russian cruiser, I think, called a Heinze. And in the background, we have the battleship Massachusetts. That's the funny thing about most of these Navy bases look very similar. Not really. They have like a lot of similar type of buildings. Kind of simple stuff, you know. Okay. Okay. Sound like that guy was encouraging. Yeah, well, yeah it sounded like he wanted to ride. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, he was being honest. I mean, you know, it's, it's for the kids, it's a lot more fun to have a car, you know, but the question is, does that create distractions? I mean, that's the way I look at it. Right. I mean, there's no question. There's no question that um, there's advantages and disadvantages of everything. I mean, the question you gotta ask, you're here to have fun, you're here to get ready.
goes my ship. That type of ship you left on? Mm, in a way, that's an oil tanker. I never worked on an oil tanker, but it was close enough. That ship it is. Fleet excellence begins here. That's the motto. No, maps is. I mean, this, this is the Naval Education and Training Center. They do a lot of different training here, and so that's their general model for this command. This command. They call it a command. I'll let you guys off here. Guy we're talking to Coleman. Yeah. Uh -huh. He just graduated, right? Yep. Yeah. So, it, does this count as his, like. Yeah, okay. Dad, are you doing it? Are you okay? Mm hmm. Oh, you are? Mm hmm. Okay. I'm not taking you there. Leave him alone, Arvin. Arvin. The man said they'll bite you. I wasn't chasing that, right? Yeah. Oh, those are the things that make all these poops. No, they're officer candidates. If you go to college and then you want to go into Navy, you come here to school. You come here? Mm -hmm. You have to come here? Mm -hmm. If you go to college and you want to go into Navy as an officer, this is where you go to school. How long do you have to go to school here? 90 days. Does it count as you serving? No, I think so, I'm not sure. So, Sandy, you come here? No. So that's your point. I'll turn it
happening. Um, so I'm listening to Captain Bowl speak today, and it sounded pretty exciting. Sounds like you have a really challenging um, period ahead of you. Good luck, buddy. Uh, don't remember what he said. Don't drink, don't drive, no drugs, and always, always, always tell the truth. And oh, by the way, study hard, too. We'll see you around, buddy. Bye-bye. That was that. Go. So what do you want to say to Arvin, Sanjay? I don't know. Okay, start again. What do you want to say to Sanjay? Uh, good luck. What else? Okay. <laughs> okay. What do you think of the captain's speech? I was sleeping the whole time. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> Sanjay will be able to relate to that. We'll talk to you later then. Bye-bye. I'm not going to give him some truck. So I'll give him on shade. Oh. There's more people. I know. Is that platoon or a squad? The squad. So that's a one Okay, let me go.
and remain standing for the presentation of colors followed by our national anthem and the invitation. you to pray with me. We turn a corner today, Lord, a large corner to do something new, unfamiliar, away from home, at a higher level of effort. Be our constancy, Lord, our rock at a time of sea change in our lives. Keep us connected to our families, our friends, our new shipmates, and most of all, to you. Mix it up with us, Lord, in our excitement and uncertainty. Give us faith, too, every day, because we know we can count on you. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, you may be seated. This afternoon's ceremony. Seated on the stage from your left to right, our Captain Bowl, our Commanding Officer, Dean Stephen Art, the NAPS Academic Dean, Mr. David Sladke, the NAPS Athletic Director, Chaplain Gunderlook, the Command Chaplain for Naval Station Newport, and Father Bertrand, Naval Station Newport Chaplain. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Captain Bruce Ball. Good afternoon. Hello again. Hey, it's Nissan Sands. Everybody move your knees one time. 
Oh, see everybody? There we go. Okay. I, I do that because I want you to listen here for a second, and, and I know I've talked to some of your parents earlier, but I, I just want you to listen up. It's a, it's a hot afternoon. The XO is a softy, so I'm going to try to make this as fast as I can, but I want you to remember some of the key points, and then you'll be back to say goodbye to your family. So he's going to buy you some extra time today. Uh, everybody in the audience, I'd like you to look around uh, the candidates right now, the cadre. Uh, who are up from the United States Naval Academy and the United States Coast Guard Academy are going to be leading your sons and daughters this summer through their indoctrination period. They're all volunteers, they're all highly motivated, and they're here today because they want to be and they want to make a difference in the United States Navy, the United States Coast Guard, and the United States Merchant Marine. I can't emphasize enough, most of them went to this school, so they feel a kindred spirit with each one of your sons and daughters, and I think that's special. Uh, in just a second, I'm going to give them an oath, very similar to the ones that your sons and daughters are going to take in a minute. But the bottom line for that is that they're going to train as aggressively and healthily and safely as they possibly can. So without further ado, Cadre, attend. Cadre, raise your right hand. Do you solemnly swear to take the candidates who are being entrusted to your care and train them to the best of your abilities, to develop them into smartly disciplined candidates, to instill in them the highest standards of honor, courage, and commitment, and, for, and to protect their safety at all times. Congratulations. Hey, lower your hand. Candidates. Attend. Hug. Candidates, raise your right hand. Do you solemnly swear that you will support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic, and that you will bear true faith and allegiance to the same, and that you will obey the orders of the President of the United States and the orders of the officers appointed over you, according to regulations and the Uniform Code of Military Justice? So help you God. I do. Lower your hands. Congratulations, class of 2007. <laughs> Parents, friends, and relatives, you should be very proud, as I am today. Pat them on the back. Like I said, the EXO bought you some extra time. You've heard enough from me today. But we're going to take good care of your sons and daughters, and I think you're going to see a positive change, and I think you should be proud of them and your nation. Thank you very much. Candidates, if you have until 16.50 or 4.50 to say your goodbyes, be back in formation at 16.50 out on the road. For the parents and families, if you said your goodbye, some of the staff will remain in the back end of the gym if you'd like to do that. And for parents and relatives who would like to re-square in their son or daughter, if you move toward the stage, Lieutenant Hamilton and Hartzell will assist you in doing that. You're dismissed.
Fresh company, all friends all counted for. Very well. Very well. You know, right now the digital is very, very dark. Oh, you get it? No, 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 no. These people have an American Indian too. Oh. Uh -huh. Yeah, I. Yeah. Yeah. We think we had time in that book to have a younger. Oh yeah. He said, "Marjorie, if you didn't have a time to talk to anybody today." 
They're not there to meet friends. They're there to be trained to be military machines. So they, he said that he, he only met one of his roommates. And he, he talked to the guy for like one minute, or less than a minute. And even during lunch and stuff like that. They it, don't get to talk a lot. They don't talk anything. They're supposed to be studying he, he their was, book. He was more interested in studying his book. That's why I was, I was helping him by taking it up. What's the point? He's nervous about getting what's the conversation going to be. No, you know? Well, yeah, he, you know, he said, you know, he said what he could say. I mean, that yeah. was, it was only been an hour or two, four hours, five right. hours since exactly. we left. So there's really no, um, you know. He's been doing nothing but marching around in circles, he said. Right. He, he got the first page at least. He's looking at the other kids. If they're further up, he's like, you know, I need to get this. I need to get this. He's going to do it. And this is the easy part, Raj, is the academics is the only thing that counts. As long as Sanjay can stay focused, he'll do fine. That half of the people leave during induct, but Sanjay likes induct. So remember, he went to the summer camp and they did the induct over there too. And when it was over, he was laughing about it. That's what they're doing right now. Right now, you know, marching, teaching them to march, te teaching them to say, I, I, sir. I, sir, yes, sir, whatever they say, sir. Basically, they're teaching you how you would, I mean, it's, it's almost surprising how fast these cat guys are catching on with this stuff. Oh, yeah. You know? They're watching each other, you know, the ones who've been there for a week, they, they put them in strategic positions where others can watch them and follow with them. Mm-hmm. Well, that's the real reason they actually have the NAPS program, because it makes their life at the Naval Academy a little easier, because they don't have a, a, you know, a million green guys. Right. videotaping this thing. If it comes out good, great. If it doesn't, the light goes on.
need to be moved. Again, the owner of a blue Honda Odyssey license. Where did you get those pants? I think that's a good thing. We need to be paying so much to do water. Uh, that's what happens when you're silly. I'm sorry. Would you give this one to the guys? Nine, ten boys, twenty-five yard backstroke. Come on, 
Thank you.